What's up, everybody? Let me give y'all a little tip of the morning. I'm actually out giving quotes. I have a list of quotes I have to keep, right? Listen, when you go meet a client, you do not, do not call your new potential client Mr. or Mrs. Let's say the guy's name is uh, John Groveland, right? On the phone, yes, sir, Mr. Groveman. Oh, okay, yeah, we'll meet you at such, 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 such. Then when you show up, you knock on the door, ring the doorbell. Uh, make sure you have your uh, notepad. Make sure you have a logo shirt. Ring the doorbell. Have your back facing the door. That way, when they open the door, they will read. Gibson's Lawn Service. Hey, how you doing? And then you say, John? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, Gibson. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, John, show me what all you want. You see how I changed that from Mr. Groveland to John? See, it, it shows power, but it shows a hidden power because he's going to be wondering, hey, he used to call me Mr. Groveland. Now he's calling me John. Yeah, show me what all you want, John. Okay, yeah, I, I, I want this, I want that, uh, uh, this, and that. You sell them. See, I just sold a corner lot property, all right? Now, this was a referral from another lawn service. Now, I'm gonna be honest. The other guy that referred me, he charged a cheap price. And I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen here. Because I've seen this happen millions of times. See, that's why I, I'm going to be honest. I, I don't like referrals. I really don't. Y'all might say, oh, yeah, Eric, I, I don't like referrals because it never works. See, when they type in lawn service near me, and then they say, well, man, this guy got more reviews than everybody. And, well, why do we have more reviews than everybody? Well, number one, I'm just playing on the internet. Number two, they were like, well, man, he got all these five stars. Everybody's saying good things. So it's, it's not going to be sticker shock when you get the price from this five-star service. Typically, a referral, when you get this high price, it's like, eh. So this is how this is going to go. I already know how this is going to go. John Groveland just bought a uh, property down here on the coast. John Groveland stays in it, uh, Atlanta. So he's trying to get a property, get him some passive income. See, look, one thing y'all got to understand you can't come through Ocean Springs without coming to see Gibson's Lawn Service, the gatekeeper, the gatekeeper. Look, you can't sell a house, you can't rent a house without coming to see Gibson's Lawn Service. I'm gonna tell you why. All right, do you want this to be a stress-free passive income business, John? Well, yes. Okay, this how this this how I explain everything to John. John, you say, are you going to be? I already knew this. John, are you going to be living in the house? No, no, I'm renting the home out, and I just want the property taken care of. John, that's very smart. I get calls all the time, John, when uh, people rent their homes out. The tenants they just don't they don't take pride in the lawn. The lawn be overgrown. The shrubs be overgrown. Your edging be grown off, and it's like when you call a lawn service out, John, it's like. Why are you charging so high? Edge is overgrown a foot. Your shrubs ain't been trimmed in a year. Grass high. And it just look makes the place look run down and bad. Now, John, I like it that you're trying to hire a lawn service to take care of this. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, John, look, let me walk you through the property. Your edging. See, we're going to keep your edges overgrown. Um, we're going to keep the grass out of the cracks on the driveway. We're going to cut your property at two and three quarters. Um, we're going to take care of all the shrubs. All of the grass clippings will be blown back into the yard because those grass clippings are actually nutrients for the property. Uh, we will keep you on a schedule where everything is maintained. That way, when the renters move out, your lawn will always be in pristine of shape. Uh, John, this is how we all our payments are made online. That way you don't have to worry about uh, mailing a check or, uh, or trying to send cash or what well, did you get your payment? No, John, see the way we operate, all payments are made online. When I'm done with service, I send you the invoice, John, and you pay the invoice and everything's done. Uh, if the invoice don't get paid, we stop service. Uh, so John, this is how we do it. I mean, uh, that way you will have a 
When it comes down to us, John, you will not have to worry about the lawn. The lawn will be taken care of. Uh, how did you say you found me again? Oh, we found you on Google. Oh, okay, that thing's working. I was hoping it was working. Yeah, you got a lot of reviews. Yeah, see, John, I do a lot of uh, Airbnb properties, rental properties, and uh, homeowners. But uh, now, John, I want to ask you, are you renting the place or are you airbnb -ing? The reason I'm asking, John, because if you're airbnb -ing, I normally like to schedule my Airbnb clients from Monday through Wednesday because uh, the renters normally like to come in on the weekends to peace and quiet. Oh, no, I'm renting it out. Okay, awesome. So what we'll do, uh, we'll kind of schedule the property around when the client goes to work. That way we're never seen on the property. I, I, I like to get in and get out, John. I'm telling him that, but I'm gonna come when I wanna come. He sold. You see how, he, he's not thinking about Mr. Groland anymore, it's John. Well, Gibson, I wanna get a few more quotes. One or two things is gonna happen here. Either he liked what he heard, he's gonna agree to everything and I'm gonna put him on the schedule, or he's gonna say, man, that's kinda high. Let me shop around. Here's what's gonna happen. You see, you got my number from Chuck and Sons. See, Chuck and Sons can't handle your property. You're going to jump on Google. You're going to look up lawn care near me. And I can start calling out all the names that's going to pop up on lawn care near me. He's going to say, let me call this guy. Oh, that's the guy that just left with all the reviews. So then he's going to call Chuck and Sons. See, Chuck and Sons, you got to mail a check. It's how to mail in the check. See, when Chuck and Sons bust a window, they're not going to tell you anything. They're not going to own up to it. Chuck and Sons is not going to give you that quality Gibson's Lawn Service. Oh, I forgot. See, Chuck and Sons only change their blades once a month. At Gibson's Lawn Service, we change blades every day. Every day, them blades coming off, they either getting sharp or they getting changed. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day, my blades getting changed. So that's the difference. That's the Gibson quality. I sent, I just gave three quotes this morning. See, he on the fence. He want to find a cheaper service. I don't care. And the other guy, let's keep it as cheap as possible. I sent him his bid. I sent him his bid. You want to keep it cheap as possible? You call the wrong guy. Either you want it or you don't. Boop. And the other, and the other bid, yeah, that's kind of high. Guy told me the other day, he said, man, I remember when Whoppers was 99 cent, bro. That's how long ago that was. 12 years ago. Have you raised your prices in 12 years? Yeah, once. See what I love about fast food? See, fast food, get it. McDonald's, Wendy's, and Burger King. You go in there one day, they got the 99 cent menu. You go in there one day, it's a dollar and six. You go in there one day, it's a dollar and 12. Go in there the next day, dollar twenty-three. Go in there the next day, dollar seventy-five. See, they eased it up. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna be honest. In the next five years, I'm not gonna have none of these clients on my schedule no more. None of them. And why you say that, Gibson? I'm trying to get to the point where I'm only maintaining properties that are hundred dollars on up. Hundred dollars on up. See, people that call me arrogant or I don't like them because I have standards because I'm trying to grow and elevate. It is currently raining now. Y'all see that rain? It's raining. It's one way to go when it rain. That's up.